So Man United have beaten Ammonia 1-0 at Old Trafford. About as one-sided a game as I've ever seen only end up 1-0. Steve, give me your thoughts on that game. Yeah, agreed. I thought there was... Uh, in the last couple of weeks, there's been some really sort of mature performances from United, and I'm seeing... Mm shapes patterns confidence all those sorts of things going in the right direction generally the city aside like and i thought the sheer weight of opportunities we created tonight they, they show a couple of things one we're starting to get to grips with the the shape and the the way ten Hag wants us to play i don't think it's quite perfect yet i think there's still levels and gears for us to go through what's see the wingers taking the player on a bit more you know anthony and sancho and marcus all a little bit guilty of that at times tonight um <clears throat> and also how desperate we are for a second striker the fact that yeah. we had to bring McTominay off the bench get in there do a bit of a Fellaini job and cause some chaos maybe we get a shot off at the end of it because it's got to this stage just highlights how desperate we are for another goal scorer um, but yeah I, I agree just a very dominant performance some quite pleasing moments within that mm. um, and and quite a mature, composed performance considering the circumstances as well. It was a weird one where it almost felt like, obviously, if that had ended nil-nil, the overwhelming feeling would have been negative. We're not, we, you know, almost no chance to win the group now. We've got to be beating them. But to, to win it, you can almost, you know, take a, a chance to look at the positives without feeling too disingenuous or, you know, like you're ignoring the result. I honestly thought that was one of the most dominant one-sided Man United performances I've seen in years. I know obviously the result didn't reflect, uh, the, the, the goals didn't reflect it, but I think our, our XG was 4.15, theirs was 0.12. I don't think I've seen such a massive gulf in that um, in a very long time. I know obviously... Ammonia are a very low ranked team but in terms of dominating a game that's about as good as we've been in, in years I think am I, am I being too optimistic and too positive with that yeah you have to consider the opposition I mean Liverpool had an XG of 1.9 I think last night scored mm. 7 yeah you know, sometimes you don't get what you deserve uh, and I think that was that I called my own review on my channel lucky we got lucky and I, I don't necessarily think that you know, we, we got lucky in the game <clears throat> You know, we weren't fortunate in the game. We we earned the right to win the game, but you got lucky the fact that it was the 93rd minute mm. with um, a defensive midfielder that's just managed to get in there and smash something home. That's where we got lucky uh, because sometimes the, you run out of time. So sometimes you the whistle blows and you sit there and you go, how oh, the hell have we drawn that game? Yeah, mm. I've been there so many times at Old Trafford where I've seen that happen. One that sticks in my mind is an already relegated Sunderland about 2007. I think they, they ended up either beating us 1-0 or getting a 0-0 win out of us. Like, And the crowd celebrating it like mental, and you're like, I have no idea how we've not won that game 5-0. Mm. Sometimes they go in, and it, it's one of those in it. You get an early goal, you score in the first three or four minutes, you probably do win 5 or 6-0, yeah. but well, they're still fighting for something. And even though you're still creating chances, those chances are just 10%, 5%, 2% less contested and they actually start to fly in and, and before you know it, you've got a cricket score in your hands. But no, I don't think you're, you're being too giddy by talking about the positives there. Um, it'd have been a shame to, like, what negatives was there? All right, we our finishing was shit. That's mm. the only negative you could have pulled from tonight was that yeah. our finishing was poor. Everything else, you know, we totally limited their opportunities. They, you know, that Bruno's a dangerous player. They've got players that can hurt you, particularly when you spend 90% of the game camped in their half. You're so vulnerable to a counter. The counter did come. We just dealt with it. Mm. So I, I think it was a very mature performance. Again, a bit like Everton. And you've got to build on those. Uh, this will be a big test this weekend. Mm. Yeah, and I think as well... it it sets, especially with the Newcastle game, they're a team that is much more difficult to beat than they have been in recent years. A draw, even a nil-nil where we have 34 shots and XG of 4.15, the exact same game, but without that goal at the end, sets up such a different mentality and a different sort of air around the club going into that Newcastle game. How important do you think getting that winner actually was, not just for the Europa League group, but for the games coming up as well against Newcastle and Tottenham? There's something to be said for grinding wins out. Sometimes even more so if you didn't deserve it. Mm. But I think the fact that we know we deserve that, I think uh, there won't be any celebration of that from the players tonight. It'll be more of a job done. We got a big game on Sunday. You know, I don't think we picked up any extra injuries tonight. I think everyone came through it unscathed. That's a positive. Mm. 
focus on Sunday. This is a huge game in the uh, the race for top four, which United are definitely in. Um, I think this is a massive, massive game, particularly if, if you know City managed to. <coughs> I think it's at Anfield where Liverpool have actually been sensational for the last couple of years. If City can take points off them there, you know, if it gets to double figures points in between United and Liverpool, you'd have to start backing United to be able to finish inside that top four, mm-hmm. um, which I think would be a massive shock for everybody if we were able to do that. Now, and I don't think United's expectations can even be any higher than that either. Like, you know, what was our expectations to start the season? Was we going to win the league? No. Absolutely mm. not. Unlike Liverpool, who were literally saying they were going to win everything. Yeah. You know, or they were in the mix for everything. Champions League, Premier League, fucking every, everything. So I think the the progress that we've managed to make in a, a couple of short months, I'd love to sit here and say, I think we're going to get a striker, but I just don't see us getting that striker in, in January. So it's going to be interesting to see what we do for goals because mm. I think the one thing that would have ended up being highlighted from tonight, if we hadn't have scored is how you can't rely on Ronaldo. You can't rely on Rashford and Martial. We've got to get some more goal scorers in, in the team. Uh, and that still might be the case, in all honesty. I don't think 1-0 mm. from a midfielder covers that up. No. Just on Ronaldo then, he, to me, I mean, Anthony was quite quiet, but he's he's got three goals in his last three Premier League games. Ronaldo was the one tonight where Rashford missed a lot of chances, but Ronaldo almost didn't really have many chances in a game that was so full of chances. He had the odd spilled ball that he didn't quite get to, but are you surprised at how how little he was in the game for a game we dominated and created so many chances and he's the focal point and the, the, the top scorer from the last season? Ronaldo wasn't really in the game that much, was he? No, I, I think he was probably um, double marked for the most part. Mm. They were blocking off the access to him. They know he's a threat in the air. If we did put any crosses in, and we were putting a couple of crosses in at head height, he's the one that you need to stop. <coughs> so, no, I'm not really surprised. Mm. If I'm um, if I'm Neil Lennon, I know Anthony Martial's not fit. I know we're going to be playing against Ronaldo. That's the one certainty I think you would have had in the United lineup. I think certainly in the attack. I think he had a game... Like, I think he was like, if you stop Ronaldo, where's the goals coming from? And he mm. might have had a point in that. Now, they they probably conceded way more chances than they thought they would have done, I'm sure. Um, but I think that one of their objectives would have been make sure we've got a player and a half on Ronaldo at all times, and that will limit the opportunities that they get, and it, it'll give us a very good opportunity to try and get a point here. And mm. I think if... You know, you can only surmise the intention from the outcomes that we saw. And was Ronaldo quiet? Yes. Well, was he lacking movement? Not really. Mm. It was congested. And it was congested by design, I think. And I think that it would be a completely different set of circumstances that he faces if he lines up up front for us on Sunday. I think he'll have a lot more room and he'll be required to, to finish the chances that he gets. Uh, against Newcastle because there won't be 33 shots come Sunday mm. yeah right thank you very much Steve I mean just just as a final question do you think that United not deserve to win the game but because I saw a lot of people online saying you know it's, it's embarrassing that we only got 1-0 it's like looking at the negatives of here's the result 1 Manchester United 1 uh, Ammonia Nick Sear 0 United clearly deserved to win that game didn't they of course we did yeah yeah like you, you're talking heroic goalkeeping was the difference here? Yeah. You know, I, look what the Rangers goalkeeper did last night. I think they had like eight, nine shots on target, something like that. Eight shots on target. Guy conceded eight goal, uh, seven goals. Hmm. You know, if that had been the case now, United win 10 0. That's it. <laughs> right. Cheers, Steve. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you check out our other videos as well, our match review on the channel. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll be, we'll, we'll be back with the brew tomorrow. Steve back on the channel after his little illness. here him coughing there, but he's, he's powering on and he'll be here for the brew tomorrow. So thank you very much for joining us and we'll see you in a bit.